hey guys in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy a website or our app from our local environment to the web I'll be using the 000 web host uh, provider since this is free and I am going to add a link of this in the description so let's get started so I have already signed up so right now I'm just going to add the name of the domain and then here I'm just going to set the password for this domain uh, let's just allow Google to suggest the password for us so I'm just going to copy this one and paste so let's create this domain so let's just wait for it to finish so here we have an option to install a WordPress and then upload site so we'll be doing the upload site um, so I have created the simple um, PHP site with database so it shows all the animals and it pulls the data from our database so we have the animals database and we have the dogs table and just display all the details here in the page so it's a simple app and just to show you how to upload in the web so I'm going to so this is the file just one file then we have the database and also here uh, so this is the site that we have created so I'm going to click uh, manage and here we have options or details about the site so right now it's not yet accessible since I have I just recently created this one so now here let's go to the so the file upload feature so it's inside the tools so here the file manager then here you can see we have two folders let's choose the public HTML and here I have created an index.php file but let's remove this for now since we're going to use the index.php file from the the app or the local folder so here let's select the the upload files button so let's select the files um let's go to our folder the zap then let's select the flow side and select the file let's open and upload so once it's finished uploading as you can see we have now the file in our domain so next is since we have database we're going to go to the database manager and here we can manage all the databases that we created for this domain so let's create a new database um, let's name it uh, the same thing with what we have in our local so animals and then let's just use the same username and password so now here is the database and here are the details so uh, let's just change the password this one because I don't know what password I use so just going to see here we decide maybe use test one two three four and the symbol uh, let's make or use capital letter um, let's just open so test one two three four dash it's great or underscore I mean now let's open these three dots and visit PHP my admin. So basically this will look the same with what we have in our local host PHP my admin. 
so for the username we're going to use this user and then the password that's one two three four dash um so there's an error let's just remove or maybe hmm see so this is the user so i think this is the database yeah this is the database user let's just try to remove this id and use life beyond code the password is test one two three four or maybe use uh, back again so now we have logged in successfully so here our next thing to do is we need to export that file and import the database structure so from our local file we're going to export or import the file so first in our local php my admin i'm going to export this table and uh, just do a quick export it will export the data and the structure or the schema of our database or the table so let's upload file um select i think select yeah let's select file or upload okay so in our downloads dogs table and let's import so let's wait for this to finish and as you can see here we have now the dogs table and the data have been imported so next step now is going to open this file check this connection so we're going to use the connection that we have in our domains and it is documented in our site so this one so this will be the username let's paste that one next is the name of or the password which is test one two three four and then this one the name of the database so for the server name so it's host or local host same thing let's save and then let's close this one so now what i'm going to do here is just visit this one so it's not reachable i'm going to use vpn since or maybe let's click view so as you can see here i have the data displayed and anyone can now access it so i have displayed successfully my app so as you can see we have the data so let's just see or insert some data to check if it will also display in the front end so colgate maybe then uh, let's contact and go so let's refresh and as you can see we have the new data in the front end so basically that's it thank you